Hola, ¿cómo estás? Hola. Bienvenido a la vida Lindsay. <laughs> Here you go. Oh. So it's officially winter in Mazatlan, um, and by winter I mean it's 70. Um, but you can see it's kind of cloudy and overcast today, um, which is different from what we've been used to pretty much every day. Since we've been here, it's been sunny. Um, and barring the uh, rainy season, it really doesn't rain here all that much. Um, so I'm curious to see if it'll rain today. But at any rate, um, still a beautiful day, still feeling super blessed and excited to be here. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, what did we do this week? We went to the Playa Mazat, the hotel, and took the kids swimming. Here we are at Playa Mazatlan today. They have a great kids area at one of many pools. This one has a pirate theme and you see the kids are enjoying their time. Playa Mazatlan. Shay and Ra. Yeah, the really cool thing about um, Mazatlan compared to some of the other places we visited like Miami and um, Los Angeles is, you know, obviously it's a beachfront city, it's an oceanfront city, there's tons of resorts, tons of hotels, and um, unlike in the States, you can basically go to any of them. You don't have to have your all-inclusive wristband, you don't have to necessarily be a hotel guest. Um, so one of the hotels here is actually where we uh, spent our honeymoon seven years ago. Um, we went and visited. They have um, know, like six pools, seven pools, um, and a few of them are very kid friendly. And so um, they don't mind you coming. You just come. Um, the only thing they really ask is that you don't bring, um, you know, like coolers and packed lunches and things like that. And of course, you know, it's always polite to um, maybe order a drink or order some snacks, which when you spend, you know, three, four hours in a pool, and it's kind of an inevitable end. An inevitability <laughs> that you're going to uh, order a snack or a drink or something. Um, so it's been a kind of a nice respite from um, the beach because you know all this hair that this family has and the beach and the sand. It's just it's a lot. So it's kind of nice to just go to a pool and then also for the kids it gives us an opportunity to not actually have to get in the water because um, the pools are kind of shallow and the kids. Um, you know, there's no undertow like that. So, so yeah. So we went to play at Mount Atlanta. It was tons of fun. It was fun. Good times. And then we also went to El Pilote or Pilote or Guayote or Chipotle. What's the name of the place we go to? <laughs> <laughs> We went to El Calite. It, El Calite. Is, it is a historic, <laughs> it's a historic town. It's about 40 minutes outside, uh, 40 minutes north of Mazatlan. It's a really nice day trip. Boys. Dad, look at the chicken down there! Mm. 
Mm -hmm. um, and so our family went, um, we brought along Brittany and her friend Angie, Brittany, my sister-in-law, his sister, and a friend Angie. I went with my dad, my sister, my brother-in-law, and uh, the kids, obviously, and we spent a nice day there. Um, it's a very historic town, dates back to about the 1800s, and it's a small town. Um, I think the population is something around 1,800 people or so. It's a very small, very quaint, um, beautiful buildings, lush vegetation. So it's kind of a common day trip um, that folks will take from Mazatlan, whether they be um, you know, tourists or even sometimes the locals. There's a whole really tasty restaurant out there and it's just kind of a nice kind of a nice quiet getaway um, we did some cool stuff there yeah and I feel like when we went to the restaurant it was like my first like authentic experience at <laughs> a really small Mexican restaurant and the food was pretty good it was decent and then in the back of the restaurant there was like this area where they had animals like mules uh, sheep chickens roast chickens ducks Kids love that. They they were feeding them and everything. They had a great time. Who is the who's with me? Me. I think it's a goat. Green. Did a yeah. baby one? Yeah. Go ahead, they want you to give it to her. Give it to her. <laughs> Very good. And they weren't in cages, I don't think. Were they? The so the, the, the donkeys and the They were. The sheep. But the roosters just the roosters were out. They're yeah. just out. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, and they got you got to ride horses. And we rode horses. I'm starting to see that's like a, a common thing that we do every time we go to the <laughs> island. It's like we're riding horses and we go horses out at this place as well. Except Kazo rode a donkey. Kazo rode a Outside the restaurant, they just take you literally around the around the block. It's cobblestone. The streets are all cobblestone, and so um, there's guys that'll just pick you up and take the kids around the block um, once or twice on a horse or a donkey, depending on their size. <laughs> um, but yeah, it was it was a lot of fun. It was nice to kind of get away and explore a little bit more um, of like our direct uh, nearby surroundings. So it was fun. So I uh, there's this place on the Malacone here where you can rent bikes. It's called Bikers. Bikers. And so we went and we rented some bikes for the kids. Zuri got her big girl bike and the boys had these little tricycles and they rode up and down the Malacone having a good time. It was fun.
little bit scary at times. They all fail at, at, at least once. It was fun, it was good. Yeah, Bizuri's becoming a big girl who has speed. Or she calls it speed. Yeah. But yeah, she's got speed and she can do tricks. She takes little feet off the pedals, her little hands off the pedals. Mm hmm Emery tries to do the same little trick as well. But he takes them off simultaneously. You'll see what I'm talking about. Let's go ahead and do Bizuri. Okay, do your one leg trick. <laughs> oh, two legs. <laughs> oh. But yeah, we had a good week, just kind of laid low, um, you know, after the holidays, kind of recovering. The kids are back in school now, officially um, back to school. So it's been kind of a, you know, getting back into the back into the swing of things. But it's been a really good week. Um, thank you again so much for um, sticking with us. Um, remember, we have a giveaway. We'll talk a little bit more about that. But we do have a giveaway coming up. So if you're not already subscribed, be sure to subscribe. And um, that's about it. Oh, wait, we have a new website. We have a website. Oh. LaVitaLindsay.com. <laughs> www.com. L-A-V-I-D-A-L-I-N-D-S-A-Y dot com. Thanks to beautiful Gabby for putting that together. Apparently I'm a web designer now. <laughs> Alright, so check us out. Don't forget to subscribe and we will see you next Friday.